fares against the me sword fighter yeah, Joker me here. Sword fighter. Okay, we don't, we're not seeing brawler or me gunner. We're seeing yeah. <laughs> me sword, which is yeah. man, I feel like with He's all the of best the options, three. He, yeah, definitely. I was just about to say the best of the three, and that tornado as well is just so obnoxious. From playing that personally, it's just absolutely. I mean, not only is it a great uh, zoning tool, and he also has the chakram to uh, yeah, the chakram. to zone as well. You can throw it at multiple angles. But the tornado, it actually confirms. It confirms into the up air. It confirms into the uh, up special. Uh, if he's using the hero spin variation, uh, that move will actually KO, and so will up air at high enough percent. And uh, I actually like these tricky options coming out from Sweet Tea as well when he was utilizing that platform. That, was that down smash? Down smash, yeah. yeah, and it looks to be so strong, man. He killed at about sub 100%, dude. Yeah, right at the right. ledge there. Really great lead for uh, Sweet Tea right now. Do you ever know what his, uh, his main tag is, number 18? Uh, I have no idea why that's there. I've never seen that. I honestly think like he just probably recognized it had the same control, so it's too late to attack. Oh, okay. um, I have no idea why that's there. <laughs> he just put it in himself. I'm not sure I didn't actually catch that. He didn't. <laughs> I was like, okay. no way. Um, but all right. Uh, Sweet Tea still holding on to the third stock. Nice. Yeah, waiting out the uh, hit. So Sweet Tea actually anticipated uh, Aimer to go out there for a hit, but Aimer really intelligently waiting out the Rebellion Guard and then uh, hitting him with the back air to get that stock. So we're at two stocks apiece now, and uh, Aimer slowly but surely making this comeback. Yeah, and we did see that confirm like you just mentioned a few minutes ago. He turned it into that upper twice, I think it happened there. That's the lower percentage as well. Uh, okay, that looks a good mix up and grab. Okay, there's uh, Aegon. Did someone correct me if I'm wrong on the pronunciation on that? Aegon, Aegon. Ooh, there's that reflector that we were talking about too. Ooh, that's a good fair on the stage. And wow, uh, Aimer actually doing a really good job. Yeah. at bringing this back. Yeah, got a lot of mileage out of, out of this stock. He is sitting at 184, but he finds a grab right here, the Chakram, to kind of stall out uh, Sweet Tea's recovery, limit his options. Nonetheless, the back air for him right here, and the taunt to move. What's the cat's name? Morgana. Morgana, okay. Yeah. I like that taunt, pretty cute. Yeah, all of, actually, all of Joker's taunts have Morgana, which is sick, I love it. I love that they showed Morgana love. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yo, that up Maybe not. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Maybe a little bit of uh, bad DI. I actually wasn't <laughs> wasn't aware that the up tilt was a kill move for me, Sword Fighter, but here it is. Yeah, it looks like a kill around 150, but not only that, it's kind of funny that they're both throwing out taunts. I like it. All of the What was that? You kind of like. What? Did you see that? I'm not really sure what happened. Did huh? he like just flew like to the left? Like, was, like what is it? Joker flew? Or maybe it was a tornado that maybe it probably was just down tilt, which is kinda like uh Cloud's down tilt. Uh slides across across the floor. Or can you angle the up special sideways, I'm not sure. I think um, you could angle like some of your moves, you get some type of like drift after your moves, so maybe that's what it was. Yeah. He can also uh, slide when he's using his gun um, as well. Yeah, I saw that as well. Yeah. Down smash. He had the read on the roll in, unfortunately, outside of the range where he could connect the hit. Aimer, really good uh, last stock right here. He's got Sweet T at 130, and he's playing this to a T, man. Here's an up air. But actually, the activation of uh, the down special put Sweet T in a bad position because yeah, Aimer was able to actually just throw out another up air and surely the second one did KO. That's going to be game number one for Sweet T. I'm not sure if he wants to risk game number two on yeah. another Joker pick. He's probably going to go uh, either, I, I would probably say Pichu actually, yeah. yeah. Pichu, Pichu is just Makes so sense. fast. He could, he could definitely close the distance a lot better whereas with like Pokemon Trainer, um, Squirtle is really fast, but he has that factor where he's like super light. Pichu also being one of the lighter characters in the game, but his kill power is way out of this world. Yeah, it also was kind of like a bad situation for Jake to be above 
or excuse me, Sweet Kid can be above his opponent there on the platform. A little risky, but yeah, we're definitely going to see um, this character pick a uh, swap, excuse me, from Sweet Kid here. And it's probably going to be um, obviously a lot better because Pichu is one of Sweet Kid's mains. Yes. Um, and I know that Aimer and Sweet Kid have played back in before as well. So I have seen the outcome of this well. It's kind of frustrating because Pichu has Thunder Jolt too. And that does crazy damage if you land that. It can do 7 to 12 percent. And that F smash, yeah, it's going to take it up the ledge. Yeah. That has a long lasting hitbox as well, and it kills pretty Yeah, early. so I want to talk a little, a little bit about um, some of Pichu's changes in this patch after all. Uh, Sweet T actually taking that first spot. He's got a really solid lead right here. Just making use of the character. Showing that it's still really good. Uh, but some of the pain changes that he got is that they changed the posture when receiving damage in the air and makes it easier to receive damage. Yeah. Changed the posture when landing and made it easier to uh, receive damage. So one of the biggest complaints about Pichu is that he is such a small hurtbox and he's harder to hit. So they recognized that and made it a little bit easier to hit Pichu in this case. A little bit, but I haven't seen uh, much and of he's a still change. Tiny. He's yeah. still tiny. Apparently, I saw a side-by-side -side comparison too, where Pichu's a little more like a Pichu size. But I think they kind of had to do that. Um, as well, like you said, Pichu was such already a small huge. Like, he was. Yeah. yeah. He, he, I mean, he's. I don't think he's actually. He's definitely not this big in his game. They made him way bigger for Smash Bros. Yeah, I feel like they had to though. They absolutely. Yeah. Had to. It would be broken if Pichu if was thought, some little run. If he thought he was small right now, then dang, you were in for a treat. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. That'd be broken. Literally, would be the best character in the game. Not okay. <laughs> I'd be mad. <laughs> But, all right, yeah, Sweet Tea definitely doing a lot better this second game here. Holding on to three stocks. Kind of just thunder platform camping with Thunder Jolt, um, which is <laughs> something that Pichu would like to do. The damage is pretty great. And already at 20, 33%. Yeah, Sweet Tea with a really big lead right here. Uh, already lapping. Aimer in percent as well. Double up Ooh. airs. Tries to shark him with that third. Uh, but it's going to retreat back to the center stage. I like the positioning here from Aimer. I like the grab Aimer was going for as well. But yeah, that's not going to connect. He was slightly out of reach. And now he's put as an offset, uh, off stage situation. Hit back neutral. And uh, he actually had 100 damage already here. So Aimer lapped him. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But Sweet T does still have an extra stock to work with right here. Forward tilt. Dashes back for that forward smash. Aimer desperately trying to find this stock to pull himself back into the game. He is down. Or actually, he's up right now. I forgot he won in game one uh, against Sweet T's Joker. But Sweet T making the right call. Going uh, one of his best characters in this situation. Another character that he really has, like, a lot of familiarity with, even though it's it's not Pichu, they do play very similar. Yeah, that won't confirm because uh, Pichu's got a little too high with the set now. Um, so yeah, Aimer definitely struggling to take care of this second stop. Yeah, up there's okay. gonna take it. Up there's gonna take it, and Aimer at 103%. He's got a big mountain to climb. However, a lot of KO potential Ooh. for Sweet T despite. That, Aimer actually finding all the reads on J uh, Sweet T right now. Sweet T struggling for the kill right now. Yes. Definitely. Uh-oh, this is already a low percent for Pichu. So, up throw, really smart. He, tried to, he actually anticipated the thunder and used the uh, side special to her. Actually, that's uh, a new down stuff. I think there's more studies. Up throw, drag down, thunder. And that's going to be one to one. With Sweet T putting himself on the board with his Pichu. Yeah, we could see he was definitely searching for a grab there because even a forward uh, throw would have killed at uh, the ledge there as well if yeah. he got that. So he was searching for it. He got it. He was able to get the Thunderbolt um, down and confirm that last dog off the hammer there. But we're definitely going to see game three here, possibly a different stage pick my after man, this my man, as well. I'm just going to hop off the minute and use the restroom. Okay. Be back unless someone hops on. I, know, I think it's a little bit more. I don't think anyone's here actually. It really? Yeah, yeah. I was like, is anyone else commentating? <laughs> uh, I probably uh, Z Fly and Korean. Okay, will yeah. Probably close out the stream. I know they want to commentate, but um, at the moment they're actually you know, handling PvP endeavors. Okay, well, the Mii Gunner is coming out, dude. I love that. Is that the like a briefcase? The Mii Gunner has a briefcase what? as his gun. So All right.
that 3.1 update, they need to change it to where you can see what character, what me costume you have. Like, I don't like that he has like a faceless me default me gunner, default me fighter yeah. when they're introducing the characters. Come on, Nintendo. I mean, yeah, but then it's that. like, that's a, like a lot more work to do. Right, that's, well. really, I, don't know. I, guess. I don't think that's a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, there's I wanna so know many. The, I want to know the reasoning. I feel like it's pretty easy. Like it's just like how would they account for it though? Like if you think about it, how would they recognize all the different like character like maybe, like, maybe. I feel like you know. there's a way. I feel like there's a way. Oh, okay. Even if it's like a little lower reds, I don't know. <coughs> it would be nice to see. I was always wondering that too. The whole black like outface thing too. Yeah. It's like really creepy almost. It's like ominous. Not okay. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't but either. Yeah. So we're gonna see. Um, oh, what are these grenades here? Those are. Definitely, down yeah, the down special, which, yeah. like, I'm not really super familiar with the Gunner at all, so I actually haven't seen those, but I know you can switch them up. That's interesting. Yeah, the down special for Me Gunner, this one variation in particular, the uh, bomb, is going to be one of the preferred uh, picks for Me Gunner, and it has a lot of utility. It's actually designed to break shield from Smash 4, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, Gamer was telling me about it, and it actually, with the changes they made globally yeah. to uh, projectiles doing less shield damage, it actually doesn't break shield anymore. Forward smash for forward that smash and eye for an eye. Aimer taking that stock right back uh, and pulling us to two stocks a piece. Yeah, this actually looks like a scary hit for Pichu because that F smash killed. I, I think he was at like 90% there, which yeah. that was crazy damage. Similar to what okay. uh, Pichu does with his forward smash. Sweet G there looks like he almost SD'd, which is just a little scary. <laughs> I know it's uh, one of those tags where people used to call him SD Jacob too. That was a little scary there. Um, we got Aimer definitely keeping his percent uh, pretty much even with Sweet T here. Uh, back rare right there, putting Sweet T in a favorable position. He almost gets the gimp from the Thunder Control right here, catching the forward air, eating out the neutral getup. Uh, that's such a good catch all option for P2 right there at the ledge because if you jump forward air, we'll be able to catch normal getup, especially on taller characters. And you can see me, me Gunner, is not even too tall. It'll catch uh, probably. Um, definitely jump, maybe not get up attack, but it definitely covers a lot of options. So that was a nice um, up B recovery from Amber to angled that as well and re grabbed the platform there, which was pretty smart to avoid Sweet Pete's down air. Okay, we're gonna get that down tilt to up air juggles there by Pichu. Down throw right here into the up airs. He gets two, trying to get this reset on the platform that forward smash had connected. He was done so, and Sweet T would have won the set. Nonetheless, Aimer gonna get another chance right here, taking a lot of damage from these Thunder Jolts, unable to Ooh. maneuver around them. That shield looking like a Skittle. Yeah, absolutely. That's a break. Oh, what a weight yeah. on the air dodge, and he connects the back air for the stock. That's gonna be two, one, two. Sweet T will advance through the win. All right, well, I'll be really quick. I'm going to just use the restroom. I'll be right back, guys. For uh, sure. Edmund will I'll still be, be here. Yeah, for a minute. I'll, I'll still be here. I'll be right back.